<laughs> yeah, I wish you saw me in the theater. <laughs> I wish you saw me in the theater and I saw when I saw all those giant ants jump Kang out. I put my hand on my face. I was like, no way. I was laughing too. I was like, I told my friend, I was like, no way. This film told me three times that he could beat the Avengers. And then he gets jumped by ants. I was like, no way. Um, I'm going to have that be the start of everything. Hopefully hopefully that picks, hopefully Skype picked that up. So yeah, welcome everyone to the Ant-Man spoiler cast. Uh, I mean, Tristan, uh, I I, uh, assume stuck somewhere or just lazy and don't want to talk about this movie. That's one of the two. But yeah, uh, I am Mitch. You can follow me in the description. There's all the link trees for my social channels. And I'm joined by Ricardo. Hello, lovely people. I am here alive compared to everybody else. Mm. Yeah, everyone's unalive. <laughs> they might be stuck down there for 30 years. Who knows? Hopefully it's not 30 years. Is that five minutes? Yeah, it's true. Who knows how that place works? That's. I don't even think Marvel know how the quantum realm works. Yeah, because I don't want to jump around, but like 30 years. And then time. like, you know, Endgame, Ant-Man said he was gone for like two seconds. King over here created mm-hmm. a whole thing down there in 30 years. I'm trying to understand how the hell does this quantum realm works? I mean, even in, like just to completely, there's going to be no structure to this. I, I don't do structure for anything i just randomly go on about stuff but in this movie janet says that they weren't really in the quantum realm for the other movies (laughs) what yeah she's (laughs) yeah she's like you know they 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 didn't go past like the subatomic bit they they got to the subatomic bit but the the bit they're at now in this movie is under that it's like they only got to the door of the quantum realm this is actually this is through the door. That's the impression I got anyway. Because they're like, oh, this, was, this wasn't here last time. This is different. She's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Let me read the mumbo jumbo script. Right. I mean, hey, I mean, whatever works, I guess. <laughs> just like, okay. Because, you know, Ant-Man 1, it's all just that kaleidoscope stuff. Yeah. Like, very Doctor Strange. Then Ant-Man 2, there's all, like, water bears and stuff. Mm-hmm. And now, in this one, there's... Uh, clearly Morty as a goo person and a guy with a battery for her face and a really buff amazing woman I wish I remembered her name but 10 I don't, think, ten she, I don't think she has a no <laughs> I think she's just extra like C uh, Does, I don't think anybody has a name in this movie no. <laughs> so who is Bill Murray uh, <laughs> who is Bill Murray bitch <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They can, no, I want to understand Marvel Studios. How how was you marketing this man? And he only appeared to chat in one scene. There had to be more scenes with Bill Murray, because there's no way. I mean, it must have been right. Because the way maybe the, that's a, maybe that's all he would agree to do. He's like, yeah, I can't, I'll do a scene. I'll get paid and walk. Yeah, yeah. Mitch, who? who who looks at a film um, or poster and be like, wow, Bill Murray's in it. I can't wait to watch it, man. Come on now. Uh, the people that are stuck in the 80s and love Ghostbusters too much. You know, you have a point. You have a point. There's a lot of people like that. A lot of Gen Xs, really. It's time for them to go. <laughs> <laughs> They're always mad. They like Ghostbusters too much. It's, it's time. Like, just leave. Oh yeah, we I say we. Um I don't personally agree. Well I say I, I hate saying that, right? Like, oh I don't agree with the, the critic scores. I, I I don't like saying that. I'm gonna retract that one. But mm-hmm. I think people are being a bit overly harsh on this movie. Yeah, I I, I could agree. Because you know, at the end of the day, People, people seem to forget that when it comes to critics, they're just really people with opinions who gets paid on a higher publication. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I haven't actually read a review in like five or six years. 
<laughs> no, no, right. I, I, I literally only see. Like I don't even actively right? go. Yeah. Yeah, like that's all I see. Tweets, little Rotten Tomato scores, like out, and people seem to forget that Rotten Tomato scores is just like an accumulation site. Like it could be five people, and it could get a hundred percent. It, yeah, like, yeah. come on, like, why tomato? The only reason I look at Rotten Tomatoes is for the memes, and I'm trying to look, I'm trying to wait for this film to be lower than Eternals, so I can be like, finally. What What is Eternals? <laughs> what was this? Forty seven. It? Well, it's tied right now. Ugh. They both they both have forty seven, but eighty. I I don't give a crap about the audience score, right? But eighty four yeah, in the audience score. There seems to be a disconnect. Now, now. As always. Now, whether it's the MCU fans finally in their DCEU era and they're botting Rotten Tomatoes to give it a higher audience score, I don't know. But from the few people that I've seen, it's uh, it's been more positive in reception than, than not. Mm-hmm. I see a mixture of both, both on my end, mm. but it seems like, um, you know, a lot of people did enjoy it. You know, they they enjoyed the the comedy. The I think sometimes, well, this is just my opinion. I because a lot of people did just praise Kane. I wanted to know if that, like, uh, how can I say? Since Kane did so well, they let the the whole film slide. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think, I think some people might. Yeah, I think some people might have let a lot of the movie slide because of Kang. Yeah, because you always like, oh. get that in stuff, right? It's like, oh, I really like this one bit, and it's like, yeah, but the rest of it, though. Yeah, because yeah. I, I feel like it's fair. Like there, there was some problems with um, like with me, there is some problems with this film. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, God, <laughs> why? <laughs> like, like for example, if. Would would you have liked Kang to have started off with this movie out of curiosity? What over Loki? Yeah, like because because remember they they were pushing this as like like the director completely said like, we're pushing this to be an Avengers level film. Oh, this is about to be like the Winter Soldier of the of the Ant Man films. Like he was pushing it heavy, and they go in. Well, well for me, I was like, wait a minute. Did, did he really Avengers. say it's? Did he say really say it's the Winter Soldier of the Ant Man movies? He said something. I remember he compared oh. it. He compared it to oh. um Captain America. Oh no. Yeah, if you search it up, he was comparing it to like he wanted to be like, he was pushing it to be like, oh, we don't want it to be completely funny. And like Ant Man is not a just about jokes. Oh, then I watched it. I was like, oh wait a minute, you lied. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not capping. Anybody can search it up. If you find the director's quotes, he was pushing this film heavy. He said this will be the darker tone. I promise. I mean, it is a slightly darker tone. It's just only very much Kane got that. His, only when Kane, Kane was in it. <laughs> yeah, for, which is what? the Half the movie? About that? Yeah. He shows up in Act 2, something like that. Yeah. But would you have wanted Kane to start it off, or start it off with Ant-Man? <sighs> Um, I mean, if I just take this movie mm-hmm. and ignore the fact that Loki exists, then no. Agreed. No, I wouldn't. I, I don't think this is a... I think this Kang works on the back of Loki. Yeah. Because, you know, they kind of explode. They don't even really explain a lot of it like they go into the timeline and the incursions a tiny bit but they don't really talk that much about him or what's really going on it's like oh hey remember this thing from loki yeah that's we're riding on the back of that we're trusting that you've seen this bit for this character to work they even have to show the post credit they're like look you really have to watch season two yeah (laughs) we're not explaining this again which is the first post credit scene for a TV show. Yeah. It, I got hype. I was like, holy. I was like, yo, this is really good. Cause, and then you got the um, the other one with the whole King Dynasty stuff. That was pretty cool. The CGI yeah. was rough as hell. But 
It was good. I've seen so many things about the CGI in this movie. It's it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Yeah, it, it had its yeah. moments. I like with me. I noticed the CGI started to get a little wonky when um. I want to say a good example is like towards the third act when everybody was there to all like fight Kang and like to release the whole army. Like the CGI started to like, you know, mm. move. they started using the shaky cam. I was like, oh, no. Right, but, you know, budget, C- CGI. You doesn't... can tell the budget was just like running out slightly towards the end. But... Yeah, they, they said, look, whatever you use for Wakanda forever, that's it. It's saving it for something else. Eternal, <laughs> here we come. <laughs> If only, but no, you know, it's not like it's not it's armored. Ri- film. Yeah, it's not armored rhinos running around on a. CGI it's not field. love. It's not love and thunder, bad. Because no, love and it's thunder, not, it's not a floating head. Yeah. Yeah, because because I enjoy love and thunder, but a lot of that movie looked fake. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Now, now. All right, back on. Track. What? Why did this? Why was this movie called Ant Man the Wasp? What did Wasp do? Did she even talk? <laughs> <laughs> I she... thought I was the only one. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She was in this movie purely to react to everything going on around her. I swear. Yeah, the, the only proactive like, like, thing she'd yeah. done was go save Scott in the. What was? What was that place called inside the core? I, I forgot what it's called, but when they all the probability up, storm or something. Oh yeah, like that's that. what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just that's really cool, did. cool scene. Yeah, that's literally all she did. That's proactive. King Everything her, else like, she was reacting. Times. What's that? King flicked her like literally two. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that man has no respect. He's flicking everyone. Like she, she honestly had done nothing. It, it was mostly the Cassie. It was the Cassie Ant Man film. They should have just called it Ant Man Three, because it was just him and Kim and Cassie. They just called it Ant Man a Statue. Well, yeah, she she literally added nothing unless you count Michelle Pfeiffer, um, character, uh, Janet. I, I mean, mean I count that. Technically, so it's nice to actually have Janet Van Dyne do something. I want to so... understand, like, like there's this scene where Janet goes up to the dude. And she was like, I asked for a ride. I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at my... with this man and left. Like, you rubbed him. Look, I looked at my friend. And she, and she, was, and she was like, I asked for a ride. It's coming. I was like, no, you didn't. All you did was like, hug. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> what do you mean? She ripped his arm off and stabbed him with it. Man. That's how you ask for rides. That's, it must that's be, insane. yeah. Yeah. Oh man. So 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 what are your so we had to do the the positive. What 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 can we say we enjoyed about this film? Cassie was amazing. I was going to say Modoc. You liked Modoc. I loved what they did with Modoc in this. You know what I kind of wish they did for Modoc cuz I'm the, on the opposite end of like enjoying Modoc. Oh no. I, oh, no. My my slight no, my slight thing with Modoc I wouldn't mind like a voice modulator. Eh, yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah, because when he came out with the giant head, but it was just his <laughs> regular voice, I was like, "Oh, you could have do this the the squeaky like over the top," because he already had like the robotic voice over the mask. So I wouldn't mind like another, you know, a little modulator for his end. Like, don't get me wrong, Modok Modok was funny, so. But I like his little certain... Darth Vader suit up scene where you get the little Modoc bump. Yeah. Modoc got cheeks, what can you say? Yeah. Too bad they had to smoke him in the same <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, I was like, they were really right about killing off Marvel villains. <laughs> I was like, this man would have been perfect for a, for a Disney Plus show. If yeah, you could have series. brought him back for like Young Avengers or something. Yeah, yeah. like he, there's so many opportunities to do it with Modoc. So when he got killed, I was like, oh. That was I crazy. feel like that was um, Paul Rudd and Peyton Reed being like, look, we, we're doing Modoc and no one else is. Like if we're having to change the script up to fit Kang in and everything, then no one else is touching Modoc. 
Because this movie was not what it was supposed to be. Oh, really? Like, yeah, because the original script with uh, that Paul Rudd was writing was... um, It had Modoc in it, but it was all supposed to be like, like aim in that. Like, it still had Cassie Lang and like, that subplot in there, but it was... Oh, it was not Kang. No. Oh, see, because uh, so I was right. Well, on my end, because I know when I did my thing, I was like, this movie kind of felt like two different movies with how it was written. And by two different movies, I'm like, every time we got to King, it was like, yo, where did this writing come from? It's so good. And then, you know, uh, once King was out the scene, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Now, yeah, yeah. did did they kill actually kill Kang in this? I don't think so. I just I just thought he got sucked into it even more. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Like, uh, did people assume he died? Well, I've seen people say that the post credit scene with the council of Kangs is they say that he's died. I I I just think that they didn't know he got sucked in me even further. Yeah. Because. Because I, I I saw that, I'm like, well, if he's got into that core, he's going to have, like, every, you know, there's going to be so many versions of him running around. He's probably that core. fighting himself, probably yeah. like training, working out with each other, who knows? Is that some hyperbolic time chamber stuff? I mean, realistically, yeah. If you really think about it. Mm. Maybe that's the Kang dynasty, right? There's just a, infinite possibilities of that one Kang now. Oh, see, big brain, big brain, big brain time. So, so what's another positive about this film? I mean, Cassie, I, I adored. I, I was, well, I say adored it. Like, I don't think Catherine Newton did the best in this movie, but mm. I think she did enough. Like, you know, I've seen her do better in other things. I, whether oh. that's the direction in this, I don't know. But no, yeah. I, I, I I, I I mainly enjoyed it, right? I'm going to be a bit biased here. I, I enjoyed it for the fact that she wasn't Stinger. <laughs> me too. And it's she, like, you actually went the stature route, thank God. You had me worried for a second. Yeah, when she grew and kicked the Modoc, I was like, oh. I was like, <laughs> nobody wants to be like Wasp. <laughs> I was like, what Wasp can do? <laughs> Nothing. Exactly. She flies. She shoots stuff. Literally gets She's slipped. black. Wasp in this is Black Widow with wings, right? Yeah, that's all they've made her to do. Like she just shoots those little buzzy things. It's like okay, that's justice for Wasp one day, but not today. Yeah, I, I enjoyed Cassie. I, I enjoyed the, the dynamic between her and her and Rudd. Yeah, I like that character arc. Another positive is Paul Rudd as Ant Man. Of course, he no, even regardless how people feel about the film, Paul Rudd as Ant Man is is just really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dramatic. I mean, everyone's good in this movie. I don't think there's a single bad performance. Like, even, you know, um, I can never remember his name. He plays Darren. Oh, what's his name? I forgot, too. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, anyway, and everyone knows what I mean. But even him, like, to completely switch up his character into Moda, uh, is I enjoyed it, the performances. Even if they did waste... Um, William Jackson Harper, which I can't forgive them for that. <laughs> this man right. needed to be Reed, and I'm not getting that. He's just some random telepath. Like, oh no, that's a lot of people in the quantum realm, just random. Yeah. <laughs> just there. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's probably my biggest thing against the movie is the. You can take half the characters out and it makes no difference. Yeah, it wouldn't have changed the movie at all. Mm. Like yeah. you could this movie could have literally been the exact same, you know, even up to them talking to Bill Murray for a scene. Take out all the other characters and it's no different. Modoc would have still gone after Cassie and Lang or Cassie and Scott. We have still gone to Kang, and it would have still happened the same way. Hank would have still shown up for the ants. You know, they they would still have had that fist fight at the end. Scott might have been nearly trapped in the quantum realm. And it's like the only thing we would have lost is probably one of the funniest scenes in this movie is where the two buildings are hugging each other because one's dying. 
yeah. that had me cracking up. I loved it. <laughs> it's like, oh, these buildings are alive. Okay, cool. So I don't know dying. I guess the final uh, positive would be King, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. Jonathan Majors really showed, like, mm. he is that guy. He is really that guy. When he was, when he, when he did the performance and he was like, I was like, I'm gonna kill your daughter in front of you over and over again until you beg me to kill you. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Man, I ain't kidding. His deliveries was crazy. Though there was one problem I had with Kang, but I think that it's more on the script level. Because he, he, there's a whole thing of, you know, do this for me, you can have your daughter back and you can go. You can mm-hmm. get your time back. But then he goes back on his word anyway. Like, he was never going to do that. He was never going to let Scott go. But then in the middle of the fight, he's like, you could have had your daughter back. And it's like, well, no, because you said you literally went back on your word. But like, that's not a major problem. That is 100% a script problem. So that's, that's yeah. that. I, I would agree because you, you saw how hurt he was when, uh, when Janet didn't even accept his offer. Yeah. Yeah. He, he still he still felt that he was like man thirty years like he hasn't even talked about me. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, Janet was going a bit wild. She confirmed it. She was like, "Huh, thirty years." He's like, "I had needs." It's like, "Yeah, you had needs of everyone apparently." God damn. I thought it was just Bill Murray's character, but <laughs> with the way Kane was feeling, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I was like Janet." I mean, I'd, I'd be mean, upset she, too she if I lost girl. Catwoman. Uh, if you have that Catwoman, then she goes. Um, she, she was looking at um she was looking at oh, I, damn i forgot his name she was looking at her man her husband and hank. she was yeah she was looking at hank you know Scat. you know he was hurt he was like yeah i was talking to one girl I was like, no, you know <laughs> hank loyal that's why he got so good with the ants there's only the one girl he spent 30 years just talking to ants oh man but yeah John, jonathan majors as king fantastic and then with with the then we had the with the mid credit scene too like he with the way he was acting as all those millions of kings it was like oh king dynasty really about to be just him yeah <laughs> that's the dynasty right you know the avengers yeah. got to have a, an, a, a one threat in the army well the army is kang right it's gonna I be a kang for each of them right. can't believe it we might literally just have a film of just kang <laughs> I really, I kind of want that to be the case. It's like just Kang Dynasty. They have a single Avenger in it. Like, just have them all fight each other. Yeah, no just reason. just have it be Jonathan Majors for two and a half hours, just fighting and talking to himself. It would work. It would work. It would. It'll get. It'll get the Oscar for Best Picture. I guarantee it. Oh man! And like people, Earth. some people might be like, oh, the the Immortus Kang is a bit uh Fu Manchu. <laughs> Because that was <laughs> slight yikes. But I want to talk about those canes quickly while we're here. Because yeah, um, sure. you obviously had the mortars. Mm-hmm. You had that Ramata. You had like Mr. Gr- uh, was it Mr. Gryphon in there? I think yeah. he up. You had all all the others from that one panel from the like this one of the sixties Avengers runs. But who was the silver one out of the three? The robot looking one. I I wish yeah. I knew. I looked at him. I was like, who? I was like, who, what variant are you? It's like because people are saying it's the Scarlet Centurion. It's like, but he was silver. <laughs> he was silver and purple. Like, it's not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not the color of Scarlet. No, unless they're going for just a, a Centurion. But it's. I know he was weird. He seemed like an original one to me. Unless there's some obscure, even more obscure variant of Kang. That no one even remembers that they just pulled from, which wouldn't surprise me, right? But I wouldn't be surprised. It's just like right there. It's like why? <laughs> who? Who are you? Which Kang is this? I don't know. They about to go for. They literally about to go to the bottom of the barrel of all, every Kang. They're like, look. I hope so. Might Kang well. dies. Just going to be a list of Kangs just introducing themselves, and then one gets pissed off, and then that's least Secret Wars. Yeah, because we we, we got to see how this is going to, you know, uh, 
obviously, it, I, I feel like we're just going to see a bunch of kings kill each other. Then that's when we're going to start seeing the battle worlds. So like, all right, here's the top, here's the top six or five. <laughs> Is the final bracket go? Yeah, because especially with the way Loki was alluding to um, this type of war, you would assume so. Yeah, and the Loki credit scene is interesting because it's Victor Timely. Mm-hmm. Like, what are they going to do it so... Obviously, Victor Timely is more of a industrialist, right? But like, what's the direction they're going to go with that one? I don't know. Guess we'll find out with Loki season two. <laughs> and when's that coming out? I don't, I don't know. Wait, I, 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 I can't remember release dates. I think it's this year, but yeah, it's this year. I think it's like I think it's like um invaders, and then we jump into Loki season two. It was like it's, a, most... it's supposed to be Secret Invasion, but we've seen oh, yeah, nothing. Invasion, that. Not invaders, yeah, invaders. My bad. We've seen absolutely nothing on Secret Invasion. So whether that is coming out this year, it's... the secret is they're just gonna drop it. Be like, hey, here you go. No marketing, no nothing. It's it's already out there on Disney Plus right now. Go check. Yeah, Marvel's trying to save their budget, so they ain't trying to market anything. Oh, they got <laughs> they got to pay for the CGI finally. Just With all the being... content being cut, <laughs> you know the CGI is about to be. <laughs> Feige's like, fine, crazy. right? We're going we're going to three movies and three shows a year. We're gonna have money for CGI again. Oh, Everything's gonna be Thanos level. You watch. His old chick picks fault. It is. I would not be surprised if that was a huge decision. Oh man! So, so I I, oh, it was your, problem, your problem? Yeah, no, sorry, no, yeah, you, you go ahead, yeah, yeah, I forgot. All right, so me problem. Uh, I would have had wanted. I'm not gonna lie. I would have had wanted Scott Lang to had t- kick the bucket. Andor got got stuck in the quantum realm in that final scene. I was honestly expecting him to be stuck in the quantum realm. Yeah, because the way it was written, you would have had thought like, "Oh, like this is it," and then Cassie just made the portal right away. I was like, "Oh." It's also like, part oh. of Cassie's story in the comics, right? Like she loses Scott, or Scott dies, and she that's why she's carrying on as stature. Like, yeah, but would you? you we could still like, do that. That but... was written for another movie i feel like it was like two different written scenes I, I was like i don't know if this was like the original way of how they wanted to write write off like scott lang or something god no because there's now talks for that man for it now there is no I think talks, Fe- if i remember i think they said they just wanted to do a trilogy no feige said that there's the possibility that man falls on the table <laughs> oh, wow. which i'm i'm gonna be honest here the the box office for this movie, well, you know, it looks good on the surface. It has cut like worldwide, it came in like sixty million under. Mm. Like it was projected like two hundred and eighty, and it came in at two hundred twenty. So. Mostly because so, of the word of mouth, obviously. I say I'm, I don't know if I'm going to expect a massive drop in the second weekend because I've seen the word of mouth be quite good. Hmm. Like I've seen more positive than negative, so I'm wondering if it's going to help it or not. But it's not looking; it's looking to make on par with the other two Ant Man movies, right? So it's it's not yeah, the best, yeah. it's not the worst, but for a movie where they're pushing heavily, that is an Avengers level movie, and it's the next big bad, it's the start of Phase Five. Probably not what they wanted. So, oh uh, man, uh. Avengers level. Let me talk about. <laughs> Mitch, <laughs> Let me, he got jumped me, by ants on Black History Month. Right? Me, when King got jumped by ants, that was my <laughs> final straw. <laughs> me, me, when Hank came out with all those giant ants, I was like, no way, please, King. I was like, you told me, you told me two times you killed Avengers. There is no way. <laughs> But he was ne- he, that he killed Avengers outside of the quantum realm where he, he had all this stuff. 
Man, no excuses because he he made a there's whole so empire. many excuses. He made a whole yes, because, empire because there's the broccoli and realm. goo people down in the quantum realm. They ain't nothing. They're not a threat. Oh my god! <laughs> I know someone is stronger than Ant Man because he got beat up by Ant Man. Oh my! <laughs> Mitch, I'm like when he got comboed by Ant Man and Wasp. I was like, I can't believe, I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> He's nerfed, all right. It's fine. He's not. I was like, you told me this man don't know karate. <laughs> <laughs> I he doesn't nerfed. need to know karate. He's, he, he, he nearly stomped Scott's head off his shoulders. Like, come on now. That's not enough, bro. He got, he got smacked by an ant. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> and they tricked him. No way. Uh, Smartest man, get, go get out of here. Please be a variant. All kinds, oh. all, all, all things are variants. It's fine. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. I just remember with, with the way he was. I hate, I hated the way he had got, like, you know, um, uh, went out, but I'm not gonna lie. I did laugh in the theater because I was like, I couldn't, I literally couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe it. The the way he just went out, I was like, no way he lost to Ant Man. Out of all people, I was like, why couldn't they put King in like in Shang Chi too? Like, see combos I, like Captain America four. I don't know, but losing to I mean, what's Sam Wilson gonna do? <laughs> Probably <laughs> it would have been a more realistic fight to not lose against Ant Man. <laughs> um, I'm I'm tired of this Ant Man slander, but. For some oh, respect, he, he saved the universe, Ricardo. Man, like the, the way... reason why we're not dust right now is because of Scott Lang. Right? Yeah, he, he he is the he is he did say he's the hero of Earth, but I was like, no, Ant Man, you saved the universe. It's he's, like, he's just being humble. Yeah. Oh man, but that that was definitely one of my that was definitely one of my nitpicks. Him him getting comboed. By every ant known to man was. <laughs> <laughs> They're super future ants, all right. See, bro, if I, would, if, if, if I would have known this, I was like, you could have used these same ants to fight Thanos. <laughs> what the heck? No, he couldn't because they he only just made the ants. Man, Cassie could have figured something out. She was smart. I mean, I mean to be fair, they, they gave Cassie books. the big brain in this movie. She's see the way she was going about in this film, she, she was like literally the smartest thing known to man. She was like, I learned all this where everybody was dust. So I was like, yo, where was you during where, during Thanos? She was just a kid. <sighs> man. But that's but, one thing I, I got against Cassie, right? Like, you know, it, there's some versions of Cassie Lang where she is like big brain genius level. But for the most part, like, she's not dumb. She's probably about as smart as Scott in the comics, and Scott's not an idiot. And it's like, she, but she's she, not the quantum realm. Yeah, does she need to be this smart in this movie? Like, it, it's just smart for the sake of being smart. I felt I needed a reason to get in the quantum realm, and you could have found other ones for that. But uh, like, I'm not Actually, massively yeah. against it, <laughs> but at the same time, it felt it was just convenient that she mapped out the quantum realm. Actually, yeah, I kind of agree because yeah. her smartness only came to that really one that really that one scene regarding the quantum realm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't really think about that. She cool yeah, though, because there, there's several ways they could have done that, right? Like you could have had it so Kang sends the sing like, the signal up and they pick it up or something like that. Like he's found a way to beam something somewhere to try and get out. Or you could have had it so Hank is mapping the quantum realm. Like, why has it got to be Cassie? Yeah. And at the same time, they're doing this, but didn't tell Janet. Like, that's rude. What's going on there? Like, the one person that's lived there for 30 years, they didn't even ask her about this stuff. <laughs> they just made this, like, map like, on their own. Like, okay. I like how in the, literally in the scene, Janet... When um I forgot what's his name. Uh, Hope. Hope uh, friend she, she, she almost forget because she barely talks in the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when Hope was like, Mom, I he's like, I've been asking about the quantum realm, but Janet was like, Oh, Cassie, why didn't you tell me? I was like, huh? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. You're like, Janet, what, what's going on? It's like, yeah, it's like, slightly tone deaf in there. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I already talked about my negative regarding, like, Modoc. Mo- Mo- I feel like Modoc getting, you know, killed off in one movie was kind of insane. I, I don't know. Could have saved them for a show. I even said, I even said, like, yeah, I wouldn't mind with the way he was written. I wouldn't have mind him being involved with like She-Hulk, because sometimes he he could be. A- he would have gone really well in She-Hulk, yeah. Yeah, the way he was doing the comedic tones and everything, I was like, he would have been. I mean, look, if you saw the CGI for him, it wasn't expensive. He really could have been in She-Hulk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could have been. Oh well. Uh, I thought he looked good though. I, 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 you know, yes, it's a very, it's an uncanny valley effect, right? It's not the best, but it's not the worst. He, it looks human, but it's not, and I think that's playing a, a part in it. But I thought he looked fine. My, my girl, when we saw the movie, I didn't correct her. I just like, you know what? You're right. So she was like, it's like I can't believe. She was like, I can't believe they copied Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many people didn't say like, that. She was like, oh, why, why they copied George Lopez's character from Shark Boy and Lava Girl? <laughs> I was like, you know what? You're right. Why did? Because <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have mind the little, the little, you know, the completely white, white-eyed look. Uh, the, the really super ugly look, but it's it's whatever. I mean, it's Modoc. I, I like the Modoc. fact that it's just Corey Stoll's. That's his name, Corey Stoll. I just like the fact that it's his face stretched. Now, it, it's something about it. Like, Modoc's ridiculous as it is. Now, it, mm-hmm. had to have him look like that, I, I, it, it tickled me. And the fact yeah. the guy next to me uh, spat his drink everywhere. I have never seen someone do an actual spit take like that. And it happened right next to me. And that almost killed me. But. I think I would also have liked him better if he wasn't like a sidekick to Kang. I think if he was a sidekick, I think I would have liked him with another villain. Yeah, but who would you... Who's another villain you team him up with? Not not an Avengers level threat. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe someone second rate because the way King was disrespecting him for. I mean, his mode up. Yeah, like I would have had like I, I don't know. Just if he was gonna be second rate, I would have had him be some with someone else other than than the King. And yeah, to be fair, second rate is an upgrade for Modoc. Yeah. The man's usually like bottom of the barrel. Super bottom of the barrel. Cause like I like I've said before, I, I will not I do not know not one Modoc fan. And I don't care what Oh go on Twitter, they're apparently everywhere. Yeah, like, the, like, the, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh but he's been in games, it's like, yeah, but you didn't know who he was. Yeah, Rocket, was like, Rocket Raccoon was in games and in cartoons, yet no one knew who he was a decade ago. Like wait, shit, shut up. It's like, I, like I, I've told many people, I was like, I was like, there's, there's never gonna be iteration, no matter how old I am. I see Modoc as a kid. I was like, this dude is ugly. He's trash, and I still feel <laughs> the same way now. There's never gonna, be, there's nothing that's gonna make me like Modoc. <laughs> no, but your whole thing about he, he should have been a Disney Plus show. It's like he could have been on she, in She Hulk season yeah. two. They could have, they could have kept him alive, brought him out. And then have him sue Scott. Uh, see? Ima- imagine that you, you, you just written off the plot. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like half an hour of Modoc v. Scott in the courtroom. Like, oh, this man. Oh, that would have been so good. That would have been. Oh, well. No, uh... That's a what if series, right? There. In, in fairness, it is a what if. That is a very good point. We can still get it in what if. We can still get it. You know, did, did he really die? But the way he caressed Ant Man's chest. <laughs> oh, <dead. laughs> that had me die. You, you were always like a brother to me. It's like, was I the? 
<laughs> yeah, I'll laugh when you say really? that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> He was like, I've died in the venture. I was like, wow. I just like the fact that they didn't even explain that. He's clearly lost his mind, right? Like, being shrunk down and turned into this thing is like, sent him around the bend. And it's just, yeah. no, just go with it. Like, <laughs> you're like a brother to me. Oh. Oh, Poor God. Darren. He didn't die, dick. That's all that matters. Yeah. Well, we already talked about our our little problem regarding like you know the other characters being there didn't really add much yeah they wasted william jackson harper that's the main defender of this movie for me there's that uh i kind of didn't i don't i don't know that like if i would have talked about like transitions of scenes i kind of didn't like how they transitioned a lot of scenes especially towards the end where um you know when they just jumped into the portal and just like it was more this film does a lot of immediate cuts and not like a, a flow if that makes sense to you you know what it makes sense i never noticed it oh really yeah because it was like every time they um cut to scenes it was like pop 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 it was immediate cuts especially towards the end when um a big example is like when scott lang just took a last bite of like i don't know he probably had like ice cream or something whatever he was complaining about and then it just cuts to credits i was like i was like oh okay yeah I, that that did cut yeah yeah Yeah, that was like a big example mm. of me talking about like it just it, it was a very cut movie and not like a, a nice transition of things yeah see i tend to really notice that stuff unless it's a it's egregious right like you know that one transformers movie that has the guinness world record for most cuts in a scene or aspect ratio changes in the scene like i'll notice it if it's like that bad but Usually it's the second time I watch something where I'm like, oh no, this is all. No, it's, a, it's a bit wonky in the editing, but. Mm. So, yeah. so now I, I noticed the end bit. I thought it did kind of like stop abruptly, but hopefully I'll watch it a second time and won't see, and it won't affect it that much. Uh, yeah. Oh man, is that, I realized we pretty much already talked about the whole film. It wasn't even that long of a film, honestly. No, it was just straight two hours. <laughs> if, um, well, I guess we could, like, I had this, I don't know if you saw my theory on, on the group, on the group chat when, uh, where I was like, oh, that the, the post credit scene or mid credit scene of Shang-Chi, I feel like it's calling, it's calling out from King after the battle. With when he got comboed by oh. Ant Man, because oh. remember they was because they was like oh like they're sending out the signal signal to um whoever and they don't know it's pretty much the exact same thing of Cassie with the quantum realm so I was like what if King what if King figure out like to send the signal again and because remember Shang Chi's sequel film is literally in between Dynasty and and Secret Wars. Well, we assume it's in between it. We haven't had a confirmation of that yet. Oh, really? I thought it was confirmed. Mm. No. Oh, well. No, the, but... the only reason why... Because I was saying that, right? Because you had all those leaked... Uh, supposed leaked names. Yeah. Well, you had, like, Shang-Chi in the Wreckage of Time and uh, Celestial's End of Time or something? Edge of Time? Something like that? Mm-hmm. So it's like those two have obviously had got to go in between the two Avengers movies because time, right? But yeah, they haven't not, actually officially between. announced those as the titles yet, so we don't know for certain. So if not but, between Shang Chi, would definitely have to be before King Dynasty, or maybe like literally the final film before King Dynasty. Yeah, it could lead straight into it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because with with the way those rings were playing out and seeing King's giant rings and like all this other stuff, it's like oh. So there's a lot of like design similarity between a lot of stuff. Yeah, because remember the the Avengers group, the ones that was looking at um Shang Chi's rings, they're the, literally the only ones that know nothing of the quantum realm at all. Only only Ant Man's group. I didn't notice that. Well, no, because you you got you had Hulk there. Yeah, but he knows he 
he only knows the gist of like the quantum realm, but he's not big brain. I mean, he Ant made Man a GPS. He, he he made a, a quantum GPS. Uh, he he must know something. Man, until he's like until he's like Janet, I want him. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna be like Janet. No one's gonna. Because remember, o- only Ant. Because if if we're looting, if we know from from what you said that Ant Man was only in the. And during Avengers Endgame, only in like the little speck of the quantum realm, not the full effects. That means Hulk wouldn't know as much either. That's true. Yeah. See? Oh, again, only Ant Man's group would know further beyond of like, mm. yeah, this is King. You know, Loki's not about to be like, yeah, this is King. I'm pretty sure Doctor Strange gonna be like, there's a King here too. I don't know. Because apparently it's his fault with the incursions. I don't know. Yeah, incursions seem to be really easy to start. You use the bathroom incursion. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one knows how the incursions work other than King. <laughs> I mean, apparently, Clea knows. Yeah, apparently. Because we have uh, Clea now. I know people forget that, but we have Clea now. Yeah. So well, I guess I guess we'll see how everything plays out. It'll all come together. Yeah. In due time, in due time, we 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 wouldn't really know where. I was gonna say like next, but we got Loki season two. But after that, it's all it's all free game from there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. So we don't <laughs> actually know that much, or well, we know phase five, but. God knows what how it's all gonna play into it. We got we just gotta see how much Marvel paid Jonathan Majors and we can figure out from there. <laughs> well, I mean they got him locked in for like everything they're doing, so Oh man, he about to be at every post credit scene. <laughs> <laughs> no more no more Stan Lee cameos, it's just Kang in the background. I'm gonna like be honest, I I wouldn't be mad about that. <laughs> it would make sense, right? No, so... It's just a random Kang doing a random thing. You watch, they, they'll do that once. They'll start doing it. And people are going to go back for every movie to find a Kang. Oh, God. Like Iron Man 1. And it's like, I found Kang. Freaking watch Marvel just like literally just add Jonathan Major to every <laughs> MCU project. It's like, you want to see, he's like, for you to catch every Kang variant, just go on our Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, make it like um, Humpty Dumpty from Puss in Boots. Oh, yeah. Just like, <laughs> he was always there. Just editing a scene at the end. Okay. No, there's um there's one thing I wanted to talk about, and it is a a, a knock on the movie. Gotcha. And I didn't notice it straight away until the Godzilla joke. Where they're hugging and he's like, Oh, it's like hugging Godzilla. Oh yeah. But there's no sense of scale in an Ant Man movie. Because I had no idea that they were supposed to be big at that point. <laughs> yeah. And it's no, like, what, you, what, you, what do you mean it's like hugging Godzilla? Like, aren't you? It's like, oh no, you shrunk down. It's like, oh, okay. Like, it, I, I, can, I understand when people say that this, it's lost like the charm and the scale of the the other two movies. Like I think this is better than Ant Man the Wasp. I think Ant Man one is still the best one in the trilogy, but it doesn't have that same scale and creativeness that those two movies had with the size. I, mean, I, I, I could agree. Like, I don't know if that's down to just the nature of being in the quantum realm when like you know we have no idea what anything is. Like how big and small is anything? Like there's no um, that reference point. Like in the other ones, it's like, oh, cool, a car. We know how big a car is, right? So you can put him next to that, and he's massive. But here, it's like, is he that big? Like even when he's giant, he's still technically smaller because he's in the quantum realm. And it's like, I, I don't know. I they didn't do any saying. really like there, there wasn't any like really cool scenes with him playing in the size. It was just there. But same thing with yeah. like a Civil War scene or like an End Game scene. Like it, it's a big difference. Well, even in the Civil War, right? It was the first time he went giant. Yeah, uh, and then they had to like try to jump him. Yeah, like you, you had they introduced the fact that where he he's fought, large, uh, he, he fought moved... Sam Wilson. Exactly, like, you know, and like he, he, because he was giant in that movie, he was all slow because it's perspective from the normal size people. 
and it's you know they had that going for it but in in this they just completely lost all of that mm-hmm. you know he still like moved like they had it a little bit they, they were never creative with it right it was always just like oh, okay it's just the thing he does now there's no no spectacle around it mm-hmm. that's probably like my biggest biggest complaint and that i couldn't agree with everyone on which is the scale and I was going to say something else, but I forgot. So obviously it wasn't that important. What was that? Gonna say? I got, I got nothing else. I said my piece. Yeah, I think, I think I'm with you there. I, I can't remember what I was going to say. So, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed that. I've got some problems with that. I don't think it's their best movie. I definitely don't think it's their worst. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that definitely still falls to the Dark World and the Incredible Hulk for me, but. Yeah, it it, it fell. I, I told I I told my friend I was like I had the same feeling because I remember going to Dark World and coming out from the theater. I was like I had the exact same feeling of like how I left the theater from Dark World. I was like, yeah, it's very low. Like I see, I low. I was one of those ignorant people that came out of Dark World loving it, and then oh. I watched it again. And I was like, what was I thinking? Then, oh, see, <laughs> then you understand. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, the best one they've done in, in, like a month later. I'm like, it didn't matter, this movie's so really good. boring. <laughs> it's like, oh. I guess my gist of it is more like, it's more like, because I didn't have high expectations, but it was more of the way the director was promoting it, like promoting the film. So I kind of had an idea. I was like, I thought it was going to play out comedy. Then slowly go into the darker route, the more, well, not darker, but a more serious tone once Kane got involved. I was like, oh, this is like, is like, it's about to get crazy. I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, this is what you guys were going for. I was like, you guys didn't need to do that, but, you know. <laughs> so I guess. It's fine. I was, it, that, that was pretty much it. Like, that, that was like the only little expectation I had. It was the way the director was promoting it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean even the trailers, the, 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 the marketing material made this movie dark. Yeah, the, the literally the trailer playing Elton's John um, music on the trailer. Freaking, mm-hmm. there was a lot of stuff. Like, I, I even said, like, the marketing for this movie just looked better than how I watched it. So I was like, was I tricked? Was I bamboozled? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I've been bamboozled. But, um, those fans of like Anna Damaris and sue them for false advertising. No, I'll do, I'll do that for Sony if I get Morbius too. <laughs> you mean when you get Morbius too? Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, well, speaking, uh, I for the first time, right, and I I wish I could erase this memory and this kid from existence. The movie ended. The post credit scene happened with the Counselor Kangs. Mm-hmm. The Loki credit scene happened. And this kid went, oh, that was Morbius. He, he, he made a more billion dollars. And I was like, if you don't shut up, I'm going to. I've never heard someone say that in public. And <laughs> I need this timeline gone because of it. I don't want to live. Like, he was a teenager. It's fine. None, none of his friends laughed, which made it slightly better. But I'm like, you didn't need to say that. That's the thing you just said. You, you put that out in the world, right? Like, how can you live with yourself? And it... Oh, you you know he owns every limited edition of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the world just became a darker place because this one kid actually physically out loud said the Morbius memes. And... Who, who, who knew that was possible? I, I don't know how to live with this information, no. But you all know now as well, so... Just know, anything that bad happens, it's that one kid. I believe it. So yeah, that's all. Uh, that's all I've got to say in this movie. You know, it's got its ups, it's got its downs. I enjoyed it for the most part. Yeah, I I, I chuckled here and there, yeah. you know. But but you know, the the fact that I have to see all the discourse in my algorithms of social media, I'm yeah. like Jesus. Oh, man. Those my, <laughs> <those> my memes. <laughs> you gotta Where's pay my... uh, you gotta pay for Twitter blue for the memes. Yeah. Like, come on. I'm like, I'm tired of I'm tired of seeing every discourse. It's like, yeah. It was like I really 
Like every tweet I see now, oh, I don't know what they talking about. I really love Ant Man. Then it's the other side, like ah, oh, Ant Man is the I'm like bro. I like I seen Ant Man one day. I want to see this on my Twitter. Get this out. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus. <laughs> I have none of that. Well, I, I get it occasionally, but for the most part, it's... It makes it that... worse, because I didn't even like any of those tweets regarding, like, hating or liking Ant-Man. Like, I just see it there. Yeah. Thing I like see, the every game. time I see it on, like, the my following page on Twitter, I go to the For You bit, and it's all Destiny 2 stuff, and I, I, it makes me happy. Oh, I'm right. like, oh, break from the, the Ant-Man discourse. <sighs> but, yeah. Um pretty much it of the review yeah i say you, you got an hour out of it which is not too bad not too bad you know we had more to do in this movie than Je- uh, hope yeah and bill murray mm, yeah we had more lines to this movie than those two but yeah you know end of the day don't 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 do what the dceu people done and yeah just just, just don't do don't do that don't, don't yeah. be in that. Don't have your villain in the era. Don't. It, you know, if a critic doesn't like it, I oh will. Move on with your life. Don't. Yeah, you know. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Exactly. Critics are critics. You know, everybody's they, a critic. You, like the only difference is the the ones you see on Rotten Tomatoes are just paid. <laughs> That's the only difference. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to get paid for it, well, get working. <laughs> time for you to start up <laughs> you want to fix may... that Ant-Man score you better start writing it's going to be one person making a hundred different accounts getting paid in a hundred different websites with different people just like ah, Ant-Man is now 73% it's where it belongs oh, oh, yeah. um, I don't know if we're going to do an actual news cast this week I think there has been some, but if not, you get this, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you all next time. Whether that be this week or next week, who knows? You'll find out, and so will we. So goodbye. <laughs>